Hi friends, I have received quite a few requests on how to create projects in Flutter or you can say how to start with Flutter. So in this video we are going to cover and talk about how you create projects in Flutter and how do you start your journey with Flutter. For this video I am assuming that you are new to Flutter or programming in general and if you want to know how to install Flutter on your machine I have left the link in the description you can watch that video first because you need to have Flutter installed on your computer in order to start with the Flutter or create projects or do anything with it. So at the moment the starting point is that you have installed Flutter on your computer. Now next thing we need is IDE. So it could be Android Studio which is free. You can download it on this link. Or just Google Android Studio, it will take you to the appropriate link. And then you can download Visual Studio. You need one of them, you don't need to download both of them. So Android Studio or Visual Studio or any other ID you prefer. There are many out there in the market. I'm covering or rather talking about only these two. So let's say you have downloaded the Flutter. It is installed on your machine and if you have um, updated your environment variables then you should be able to directly use through command prompt if you haven't updated the environment variable then you will have to first go to your flutter folder and then use the console or the command prompt from there so navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the flutter so navigate to the flutter folder so wherever you have downloaded it could be in your document desktop or download Wherever you have Flutter package, you have to navigate to that folder. As I have updated my environment variables, I will be able to directly use Flutter from this command prompt. But if you haven't done so, then if you just run Flutter, you'll get an error. Um, your command prompt will not be able to read or understand Flutter commands. So in that case, in this video, I'm not going to talk about updating the environment variables. As I mentioned earlier, you can refer to my last video. In that case, just go to your Flutter folder and then you have to click on this Flutter console. So there should be this Windows bash file. If you open this, from here you will be able to use Flutter even without updating your environment variables. But if you update your environment variables, your workflow will be much faster. So I will highly recommend you do that. So as I have done that, now I can use this to create my project. So let's say I want to go to desktop. So I can use cd command to go to my desktop. Now I have already created a folder here. In my desktop, I have created a YouTube folder. So I will just cd to that. I'll recommend you to create one dedicated folder where you keep all your projects because this will help you in being organized. So now I can create a project here. So before you do anything with your Flutter, you need to create a Flutter project. So this will be Flutter create command. So you can create projects in Flutter with Flutter create. And then you have to put the name of the project you want so for example i want to call it let's say dummy one now if i run this command this will simply create the flutter project if i go to this youtube folder you will see it has created this folder or directory within this youtube folder so this dummy one is my project now if you're not comfortable creating projects using your command prompt you can also use android or visual studio so i'll just show you how to do that in android so in android studio you see we have new project open new flutter project so if i click on this new flutter project it will just ask me to give the name so i have used these three dots here to change or rather select the directory where I want to put my project. Now if I click on finish, it will create a project for me. So 
so now it has created a project for me i can do same things with visual studio if you go to this terminal click new terminal then you can go to your directory wherever you want to go and then i can say flutter create dummy 3 and it will create a flutter project but i cannot do anything with this project yet before i can do something I have to CD into this project. So basically, I can use Visual Studio or Android Studio to work with the files or if I want to use the command prompt or terminal or CMD shell, whatever tool you are using, I have to first CD into that folder. Now I can start playing with that folder or other project. So that's how you create projects in Flutter. If you have any doubt, let me know. But you have to make sure that you first use some tool to create a project, then navigate into that project, and then you can start working with it. Okay, thank you.